Hey everyone and welcome to this next question. So this is a pretty simple question, but it's something that you likely find as the first or second question on an online um, coding interview. So given an array, output the amount of unique elements in that array. So let's take a look at our example over here and you can see that we have A, F, F and B in our array. Now obviously the amount of unique elements here would be A, F, and B. We don't count this F because we already have another F. So we would want to output 3. Now a naive approach would be taking the array and having a counter and checking all the previous elements to see if it's a duplicate. For example, we would check A and since there are no previous elements we would increment our counter to 1. We would check F since there's no previous elements we would increment our counter to Two, we would check this F and we would go through all the past elements to see if there exists um, another F. And since there does, we actually wouldn't increment our counter. Then we would check B, we would go through all the previous elements and check whether B exists or not already. And since it does not, we would increment our counter to 3 and output the final um, count. So. While this seems like a good approach, um, the space complexity of it would be n because our array is filled with n elements. However, every single element causes us to check the previous element before that. So we're going through n elements and we're checking at worst case scenario, another n elements for every element, which means our time complexity over here is actually going to end up being n squared. Now, while this is an okay solution, I would encourage you to try and think of a better solution. And I'm going to give you a second to think about it. Pause this video, give it a shot, think about how you can implement this in less um, time complexity. So pause this video, give it some thought. Okay, so the answer would be to implement a hash set. And the way we can actually implement a hash set is with every single element of our array, we can simply add it to a hash set. Now, we know an, a unique property of a hash set is that a hash set does not contain duplicates. So because of the way um, sets use memory, we actually can't have duplicates. So when we add this F and the second F, it'll just overwrite the original F. Now, once we add all the elements of our array um, into the hash set, we can simply query the length of the hash set, which would be 3, and that would give us our answer. So because we're going through the original array and we have to query for the length of our hash set, our time complexity is going to be n. And because we're storing the initial um, array, worst case scenario, our space complexity will also end up being n. So let's quickly take a look at the code we need to um, put this into action. So I've made a function here called uh, unique um, unique elements and in that we pass in the array. So after that the first thing we want to do is go ahead and make our set. So in Python um, making a set is pretty straightforward. You just declare it and um, create a set. So after that what we're going to want to do is for each through every single element in that array and add it to our set. Now like we said a set already has um, a unique property that it can only contain unique elements so we don't have to worry about any specific code um, to make sure that we haven't found any unique elements um, or any duplicates. By just adding everything in there we'll have the um, the entire set without any duplicates. Now finally what we want to do is simply return the length of our set. So there you have it. It was a pretty simple question. Um, if you have any questions leave them down in the comments. If you want to see our next couple of videos feel free to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and we're going to be going over more interview questions so that not only can you get the interviews but you know how to ace them once you get it. Thanks for watching.